guys and girls, this is Jernigan here. This is private and confidential address. Important healthcare <clears throat> information enclosed. You know everything we missed at your appointment. Cost NHS around 160. If you can't make your appointment, please tell us. So this is a letter from the hospital uh, when I had my cancer. And uh, Pigeon Inn and everybody else is slating me online with these trolls and saying I faked my cancer. Now, this is this is a letter that I'm going to be showing you of when my appointment was with my cancer. It's an old letter, and we're going to be reading it out. You shouldn't lie about. You shouldn't upset people and tell them that they're lying. What cancer they had. So this is going. I'm going to be showing you. This is when my appointment was a while ago on this letter. So I wasn't lying, was I? So where have I got this letter from then? So basically, it says on my letter here, appointment Tuesday, 10th of December, 2019 at 10.10. 10 .10. Dr. ER located cancer. It says cancer there. Center. We wished... To remind you that you have appointment at the Old Queen's Elizabeth Hospital. Details, please bring a following with you and your appointment. Your original appointment letter, which contains full details. Appointment is reminded letter is a list of currently medical that you are taking. Please use the yourself check arrival available. If you wish to cancel your appointment, you can call us on telephone number. Uh, this, if you know, uh, advice that you can't uh, attend if you will automatically be offered a future appointment. You need your GP or whatever that means. Uh, traveling directions future about your hospital can be found so if you would like to text message or next appointment please give us a call yours sincerely hospital birmingham nhs trust car park so basically it says it in black and white there cancer center why would i lie about it why would it say at the top there tuesday the 10th of december located cancer center so i did have cancer because it says in the letter here so you can sit there lying and telling me that i'm lying which i'm not lying you can see it on here and it came in the envelope as well this is what it would look like when you go there obviously you turn it over and it shows you the area of birmingham where it all is and it gives you a leaflet on the back of the hospital so that's the area so i wasn't lying about the cancer was i this is an old letter so it just makes me laugh that you think i'm a liar which i'm not a liar so yeah this is the, the, vi the video that i'm doing and you're like i say Maybe in the future, people call you a liar and say you didn't have cancer. Why would it say it my letter then? So, just sorts of, it just sort of pisses you off and you think people think you're faking it. I don't fake anything. I've told you the truth. I've shown you a fucking letter. So, your choice if you're going to think this is fake as well, but it's not. You can see the back of it, of the Birmingham Hospital. This is what it should look like. This is an old letter, but they may have changed it since then. So it says cancer free center. You've got all this at the back. Um, it talks about all sorts of things that the map is. And the appointments of the hospital and directions of the hospital. This kind of annoys you. Then you tell people the truth about things and they think fine. It's not. So if you... If, you know, some people don't like talking about cancer, other people do, some people don't, some people just keep it to themselves. But like I say, if you ever get a letter in the post like this, 
and it says like private and confidential which it is private and confidential and uh, it's important as well so anyway that's my cancer letter and uh, I'm still going for my checkups now and then this is why I got this letter here and nothing's fake so pigeon don't slate people with disabilities and don't slate people with cancer what well, I've had it because I had it myself and there's a letter here to prove it okay thank you in this video please